of Southside Speedway, now in the hands of Chesterfield County officials. The Board of Supervisors purchased the 47-acre track last week, and now work be begins to decide what that racetrack will eventually become. On your side at 6, Desiree Montilla went straight to county officials looking for answers, and Desiree, did you get any answers? Well, Kurt, the short answer is this may become part of River City Sports Sportsplex, but county residents will have a say in it. Now, last week, Chesterfield County Board of Supervisors approved the $5 million purchase of this former raceway, which they say will start a new chapter of life right here. Southside Speedway is on track towards a new era as county leaders begin to develop their vision for the site. The County Economic Development Authority says these 47 acres will likely go through a rezoning process. Which will involve public official public hearings at the Planning Commission and Board of Supervisors level but there will also be many citizen input meetings. As one of the first tourism destinations for Chesterfield, Elder believes the site would complement River City Sportsplex next door, attracting thousands of visitors. The most recent study found that River City Sportsplex uh, had an economic impact of over $50 million uh, to the region. So it's important to capitalize on the investment that was made into River City Sportsplex and to continue to grow that asset uh, for the county. Elder believes the Speedway property could incorporate a mix of uses for Sportsplex visitors and residents. It certainly can be retail destinations for somebody to come and, and shop at um, as they're coming to a, a tournament at the facility. It can be additional uh, sports or recreational venues. Um, so again, none, none of that has been decided at this point. Even though no decision has been made, Elder says the community will have their voices heard. That is a process that will uh, rely heavily on, on citizen involvement and analyzing what the best return of investment is on the property um, to, to again, to continue to attract visitors to this area. Elder says one of the key goals for whatever happens to this former raceway is to remember this site's history as one of the first tourism destinations here in Chesterfield County. Live and on your side in Chesterfield County this evening, Desiree Montilla, NBC 12 News. All right, thanks, Desiree.